Minecraft story mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How is this gonna do that? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? That's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the redstone heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. Looks pretty ominous. There's some sort of giant monster up here, another evil computer. No, no, nothing like that, but you'll see. Come on. Ah, <sighs> feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. This is so cool. We've been exploring the old builder's world this whole time. It's amazing. Well, we were pretty proud of it and we were putting the place together. Kinda thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. You don't sound super happy about being back. What's up? Yeah, I think you'll figure it out once you meet the others. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Are you joking? You think you're nice? Yeah, I don't know if you remember the whole Pama thing, but, uh... Hey, I had good intentions with that, all right? Don't make me regret helping you. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas, and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? Harper, I thought that's why we brought you. To convince them to hand over the Atlas. You're not gonna let us down, right? I'm gonna do my best, but I warn you now that there could be complications. What kind of complications? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Yeah, I do. She saved our lives, Lucas. Only after she put them in danger. If I remember correctly, we saved her just about as much as she saved us. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that Atlas and get home. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry, I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Ah! Very what? bright! Oh, I see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? <laughs> Do we? 
have here? Seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just, what in the world did Harper dump us into? Well, whatever you do, don't stand still too long. Those big, beefy dudes up there, it seems like they're aiming for us. Hang on, I just realized what this reminds me of. Spleef. Is it tight? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be like this! TNT back of the gladiators. Nice one, brah. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I think... You killed one of my best friends. Hey, I don't care about your compliments, and I'm definitely not your bra. Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mevia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately! This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Well? Okay, you're in charge. Awesome. Now, can you just explain what the heck is going on here? What's going on here is you just ruined our round of spleef. Attacking competitors? Horrid! And technically against the rules. Ugh. Lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Okay, just tell me straight. What are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> Your friends are alive and well. But I saw them die. How are they alive? Oh, I'm not surprised that you're confused. Tiny brains. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, 
I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. We're from another world. Yeah? Well, you and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are, champ? You're just a little gate crasher. And what do we do with gate crashers? Kill them and send them to the mines. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, champ, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? No. We just want to get our friends and go home. Sorry, Chief, but this is your home now. Might as well get comfy. No way. We've been lost in your stupid portal hallway long enough. We're going home. Meaning you need my atlas. Very interesting. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. What if I was about to change your mind? Oh, that'd be hard, because see, I could be watching Slab squash you right now, which would be highly entertaining. Squash! I love it when he does that. What could you possibly offer that's better than that, Slugger? I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable for fun. This. What about this? Huh? I present the Redstone Heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. Nuh-uh, Hadrian. You're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friends. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. You've caught me in a forgiving mood. Clearly, things have been getting out of hand. Let's start over and see if we can reach an agreement. Okay, okay, fine. I can always appreciate someone trying to be reasonable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. You seem suspicious, and I completely understand. Don't you worry, Jesse. Once a rule is written into the bylaws, we make sure it's enforced. Isn't that right, Hadrian? Oh, yeah. Otto is a real stickler for the rules. Mm-hmm. All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official edition. Oh, Otto, enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. You lied to me, to all of us! Hey, hey, I didn't lie. Per se. I just didn't tell the whole truth. Ugh! Ugh. 
I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. Jo <lacht> Leute, ich äh, pausiere das hier mal eben ganz kurz, weil sonst komme ich überhaupt nicht dazu, irgendwie zu kommentieren. Das haben wir ja schon in einer der letzten Episoden gehabt. Und zwar willkommen zurück zu einem neuen Aufnahmesession. Dieses Mal geht es um Minecraft Story Mode Episode 8, eventuell sogar die letzte Episode. Es ist endlich die achte Episode rausgekommen. Und ja... Mal schauen, wie sich das in dem Punkt so jetzt irgendwie äh, ja, entwickelt. Ich hoffe mal endlich ins Positive, dass wir endlich mal wieder nach Hause kommen. Es äh, ist echt schon ein bisschen anstrengend. So wie es aussieht, wird diese Episode wohl aufs Kämpfen hinaus laufen. Das ist jetzt schon sehr, sehr super. Yay! Yeah. Just for sport. Well, come on, listen. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is. The competitor village. Sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Hmm, okay. Wait, are... All of these people competitors? Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. Oh boy. Auf das was wir gewinnen, damit wir, damit äh, Lucas und Alva wieder da sind. Like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. No toy. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back, and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines. No super. Which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Huh, seems like Hadrian's trying to make sure we all know who's boss. You always did catch on quick. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. Mach das. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. Obwohl du mir nicht so ganz sympathisch bist. Gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Mach das. Das werde wohl ich auch mal tun. <lacht> Reden wir mal mit ihm. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat. Wait a minute. You are the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab. And face meat doesn't like cheaters. Don't stand around breathing a ball of face meat air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meat's watch. Okay. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face meat. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well, now that you mention it, face meat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So face meat's hungry. Okay. Do something about that. And face meat'll. Think about getting your friends out. Na super, der will also was zu futtern haben. Das fängt ja schon mal sehr gut an. <lacht> 